The head of FEMA noticed the similarity within hours of a fire ripping through Maui. It reminds me very much of the fire that we saw in Boulder, Colorado uh, at the end of 2021, where an entire community um, was burned to the ground, spread by excessive winds like we're seeing from this fire. It's hard to look at the destruction 3,000 miles west of us and not be taken back to December of 2021. Einer Jensen, Risk Reduction Coordinator for Evergreen Fire Rescue, thought of the Marshall Fire right away, too. The Marshall Fire here in Colorado, it was a, a, a grass fire that moved into an urban, suburban area because it was powered, energized, basically, by hurricane-force winds. In the case of Maui, we have an actual hurricane driving these winds. The difference he sees is the infrastructure. Hawaiian homes and businesses are built to withstand disaster just not this kind. We tend to build homes out of more fire resistant materials. We, we have separation between homes. In Hawaii, it's different. They build their homes based on other natural hazards like hurricanes, like big rain. Our assistant state climatologist Becky Bollinger will tell you the conditions certainly mirrored the Marshall Fire. There was a bit of a drought on the west side of Maui before the spark and the wind. The big similarity is that that downsloping windstorm. Bollinger says the wind pattern in Hawaii is ah. east to west, meaning the downslope off the mountains there is on the west side of Maui. I think it's kind of surprising to some people that there are areas of Hawaii that might look a lot more like our landscape on the, the Front Range Urban Corridor and towards the Eastern Plains, as we see on the west side of a lot of the Hawaiian islands. So we're still in the early stages of that fire in Maui. A lot of work to be done to track how things moved along there, guys. But you can imagine what likely happened there was a lot like what we likely saw in Boulder, where the embers just get caught in the wind. And then when you have so many structures on fire, they're just spitting out embers and spreading all around. Obviously, a lot of work to be done to figure out why this fire spread as quickly as it did.